Hello everybody. Um, I just built a new computer and I have to install my virtual machine. So I thought I'd go through the steps that I take to set up a virtual machine and make it good for malware testing. So this is for VMware. There are a bunch of different softwares you can use. I like VMware because it's pretty solid. I've never had any real problems with it and it has plenty of features. Um, so I'm gonna start by clicking new virtual machine and typical is alright um, because custom doesn't have anything you really need. So this is the interesting part here. You can choose your installer disk which I have not inserted yet and or you could choose an ISO file which I'm not going to do um, and then you could install the operating system later with a blank hard disk I'm going to install it now by inserting my XP disk right now XP is the easiest on your virtual machine it only takes about um, 256 megabytes to run well so you don't have to have any more than one gigabyte of RAM to really run it but on this machine I'm using four so I should be able to assign a good amount of RAM to my disk the other thing you're going to need is an XP installation disk that has a key that isn't being used on any other computers now the thing about registering on a virtual machine is that if another key is in use on another computer, it doesn't work. So you have to buy yourself a disk. So I'm going to insert my disk here. All right. just gonna go back and forward to refresh that alright Windows XP Home Edition detected and this operating system will use easy install so if you click what's this it opens a browser window and in this window it says easy install it basically helps you install so if we're gonna continue you enter your Windows product key you enter your full name you enter your password and then you confirm the password and it's that easy and then it basically goes ahead so I'm gonna pause the video here so I can punch in my uh, info I'll be right back alright so I punched that in and I click next and the virtual machine name it assigns automatically but I can edit that uh, I like the position it's in but you can select any location by clicking browse and continuing so, I'm going to set my maximum disk size as 15 because I have a about a 500, 600, a 600 gigabyte hard disk. So I have plenty of room, but you have to pick how much space you want to allot your virtual machine by how much disk space, disk space you have left. If you have an external hard drive, that is enough free space and you don't want to use any more space on your regular disk you can put the um, virtual machine on the external hard disk that's what I had going on my laptop but this disk is faster than any external hard disk so that's the way I'm going to do it you can either split it into two files or store it as a single file I'm gonna do a single file because that doesn't really matter all right, so here is when you can customize your hardware, and you can edit 
what the virtual machine gets. As memory, I can crank this up to one gigabyte. So I'm going to do, there we go. And if we look through here, use that's the find physical drive. Uh, floppy network adapter. Bridge is recommended because malware, if you're doing this for malware testing, this works better for malware testing because that because it can um, use a different connection so that it's not interrupted by any computer antivirus with a web guard or whatever. So try to set that to bridge. And if we look at the sound card, that's fine. The display. Don't need to change that. And processors. Because I have a a quad on here, I could do two, but I don't need to because it isn't necessary. So we're gonna say that's alright. And you can make sure you have everything okay. And I'll click finish. So So this just is a, a thing about the CPU. It's nothing necessary. And then that's all right too. So this is basically going to start installing XP and it's going to go through the paces. of setup and it should just continue here without asking me any questions. I'm going to pause the video right now uh, and continue in part two because I don't need to go over the installation of XP. Alright, see you in part two.